For more on this, we're joined by Amir Duranovic. He's a lecturer in modern Bosnian history at the University of Sarajevo. Amir, thank you very much for joining us. Now, the Dayton Peace Agreement is a complex compromise, but uh, tell me, what makes it so unique? Well, it's unique in many aspects, if you, if you like. Uh, the Dayton Peace Agreement is unique in terms of creating a peace uh, after a bloody war that we had in the 1990s. Uh, from the other point of view, it is unique in terms of international obligations or obligations that are taken by signatory sides of the Dayton Peace Agreement. It is not just Bosnia, Croatia and former Yugoslavia, but it is international community as a whole, if you want, with the United States, Russia, Germany uh, and United Nations, after all. Amir, 20 years on, uh, what do Bosnians think of it? I mean, if they could vote for it today, would they have voted the same way? Well, uh, I think there was a survey that was taken a couple of months ago and it, uh, it had the same question. If Bosnians had an opportunity to vote on referendum on the Dayton Peace Agreements, how would they react? And I think that the results are, qu are quite positive to what we have here in, in Bosnia compared to our, so to say, everyday interpretations of how it was in 1995 and how it, how it is now. Uh, the majority, I think, still would vote uh, for Dayton Peace Agreement because, before all, it has stopped the war, uh, which is its most important point. Uh, and after that, it has created a state where all sides actually have gained something and at the same time they have lost, lost something. But it is about compromise. All compromises have the same uh, framework. Uh, nobody is winner and nobody is loser. Okay. Amir, I mean, does the conflict continue to affect uh, the society? I mean, are there any divisions that still remain? Well, you know, uh, many divisions can be can be visible. Um, uh, what we have as an administrative uh, organization of our country is one one side of uh, what we usually understand as a division of Bosnia and Herzegovina. But uh, most important one, uh, which can be prevailed, is actually a division between the ethnic groups that inhabit Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, I think uh, that Dayton Peace Agreement has somehow made those ethnic groups uh, live. Uh, side by side in peace, but with not a lot of a chance for inter-ethnic interference. Of course, this is not the case at 100% level. Uh, there are inter-ethnic relations, including um, economy, policy, uh, everyday life, and all other aspects of uh, normal peace living. So uh, uh, I think that the main divisions are still in the way how we perceive our past. As a historian, I would say that it is somehow uh, normal, or I would say that I understand that there are views towards our past that can be different, but I would rather argue that we need a common uh, view towards our future. Okay. I think that we can set some ground rules and make, make our, our future better than it is now. Okay, Amir Duranovic from the University of Sarajevo, we thank you for joining us.